In today's video, I'm showing you guys the best way to attach a GoPro to a rifle, a bow, or a shotgun. Let's get after it. My name is Matt, and I live for moments like these. Guys, I killed the biggest buck of my life this morning. I'm far from an expert, but using persistence and a little bit of luck, I'm able to make some pretty cool things happen. I do my best to capture the entire harvest, the kill, the prep, and my favorite part, the meal. Because to me, it's more than a hunt. It's man versus deer. He is a mass monster. Holy cow. Welcome back to the channel, guys. If you're new to the channel, I really appreciate you guys taking the time to check out a man versus deer video. I do a lot of hunting videos, I do a lot of tutorials, but my bread and butter, what I really love to post is I wanna make catch clean cook style hunting videos as often as possible. If any of those things interest you, I would highly recommend subscribing and smacking that notification bell so you don't miss any new videos. Today's video is going to focus on GoPros, and in this video I'm going to tell you my top three attachments for attaching a GoPro to a rifle, a bow, or a shotgun. I'm going to talk about where to find these, the pros and the cons. We're just going to cover everything in detail, and it's going to be a really, really informational video. So with that being said, let's jump into the top three ways to attach a GoPro to a weapon. Let's go. All right, guys, first mount we're going to talk about is this guy here. Very generic clamping mount from GoPro. You can find these all over Amazon for about 30 bucks a pop, and they are well, well worth that purchase. Very, very straightforward mount to use. It's got a clamping system, so you just open it and close it on whatever surface you want to clamp it to. It's got a flexible neck, so you can adjust it to a variety of positions. And what I like about this thing is that it's very, very versatile. So not only can you move the camera around to different positions, but say you've harvested your animal and you want to pull this off and use it to film some B-roll, maybe a recovery or something like that. Or maybe you're bow hunting and you want to, uh, on a particular day, put it as an overhead uh, secondary angle. You can do all that with this mount. Very, very versatile. Only two things I don't like about it is one, the neck makes a lot of noise when you're moving it. And when you're hunting, you want to be quiet, so that can be a detriment. And two, the clamp can tend to slip if you don't have it on a squared, somewhat squared surface or something with some texture. It can kind of have trouble keeping its grip. Other than that, a very solid mount. Would highly recommend you having this in your arsenal. I tend to use this the most on my muzzle loader because my muzzle loader has a squared uh, fore end and it's got some texture on it, so it holds to that really good. And I also use this a lot on my turkey gun because the cap that holds the fore end on makes a great place for this to attach to, and it gives me some really good uh, high angle shots right down the barrel. Would highly recommend this one. All right, guys, the second mounting option we're gonna talk about is this guy right here. This is actually a combination of a couple of different GoPro mounts. You've got your GoPro adhesive mount right here, and then you've got a couple of different elbow joints that combine to make something that you're gonna slap right on the end of your stock and get some super cool, right down the barrel, wide angle footage. This thing is arguably gonna get some of the best GoPro footage that you're gonna see. You see it a lot with bird hunters, uh, clay shooters, things of that nature, fast moving barrel swing and stuff, this is the mount for you. And it attaches super easy. There's an adhesive piece that stays on the stock of the weapon or you know the surface of wherever you're wanting to attach this. This piece just basically slides into it and then slides out very easy. So this thing is super easy and straightforward to use and it gets really, really good camera footage. The only thing I don't like about this, besides the lack of versatility, is that the joints tend to move fairly easy and there's no way to really tighten them down uh, very good. So that just means that you wanna check on this thing periodically and especially right before you use it, you wanna make sure that the camera is positioned exactly where you want it. All right, guys, the third mounting option is this guy here. I've arguably saved the best for last. This is a mountain bike mount, meaning it's meant to attach a GoPro to a mountain bike or rail of some kind. And because of that, it makes it super easy to attach this to any kind of gun barrel or bow stabilizer. It's got a little piece here that removes it. You can attach it to something pretty big in diameter, or you can put this piece in here and attach it to something uh, pretty small in diameter, like a, like a 22 barrel or a bow stabilizer. Um, you basically put the rail in here, close it and tighten it down. And then there's also a knob here you can loosen to position your camera. You can do it straight up. You can do kind of an angled thing. And wherever you uh, have this stuff, when you turn this key down, uh, it's very, very solid. That camera's not gonna move even if you bump it. So 
for those reasons, because you can attach it to almost any weapon effortlessly, and because when you lock these two things down, you know your camera's not gonna move, I find myself using this a little bit more than any of the other ones. And also, I can put this towards the end of the gun barrel or the end of the bow stabilizer, and what that means is there's not gonna be a big long gun barrel in my footage. The target that I'm shooting at is going to be the main focus with no gun barrel in it, so you can get some really cool camera angles uh, with this uh, clip as well. Now there's only one downside to this one that I found and that is the way you attach the GoPro housing to the clip itself. Uh, it's not got the regular GoPro screw, it's got this little pin system that you basically have to put in like so and turn it until it locks in and then you can lock it down just like that. Um, because of that, it is not very fast to switch this GoPro from one of the other mounts to this one, but once it's on there it is super secure and probably my favorite out of all three mounts. Well guys, that pretty much brings us to the end of this video. I hope that you found what you were looking for, but more than anything, I hope that this video made you want to come back and maybe watch another man versus deer video. If you guys are interested in supporting the channel, I do have hats, I do have hoodies available via links in the description. Also, if you're curious about where to purchase these mounts or any of the other gear that I use in my hunting videos, that stuff will be available via Amazon links in the description. I do get a small kickback on that stuff as well. As this video closes, if you guys want to see some of this GoPro footage in action, I'm going to link a hog hunt that's going to show up in the suggested videos as this one closes. It's a really cool catch clean cook style hog hunt I do in southeastern Missouri with my dad. Very, very much worth watching. and then you get to see those GoPro clips in action. I want to thank you guys for checking this video out. I really appreciate it and good luck in the woods.